having one-on-one -on -one regularly with your team is extremely important. It's the best way for you to help people level up, give feedback, and also make sure that everyone is aligned on the vision that you want to build. On my end, I'm doing my one-on-one -on -one weekly, and in this video, I will show you exactly how I organized my one-on-one. -on -one. So the first part is about my expectations. I think it's super important to set the right expectations whenever you work with someone. I will not get too much into details about it, so let me know in the comments if you want me to create a video about how I set expectations. But now, let's go to how exactly do I organize my one-on-one -on, -one on Notion. Here you have toggles for every single month of the year and then weeks for each month. In each week, I will add a specific document with the agenda. Here, I've created this template where each week, people can just click on add a new week which will essentially create a new template that people can fill in with the right information. So for example, they should start with their agenda, meaning the topics that they want to discuss. They should also complete what has been done in the last week with their top three tasks that they've accomplished, their top priorities for the week. This allows me to see that we are actually aligned with what needs to be done in the future, their current challenges. This is also extremely helpful for me to understand where I can help them or if I can put them in touch with someone else from the team or someone that I know or an external coach to actually help them overcome their challenges and grow individually. And finally, the progress on targets which I think is extremely important. So if you are uh, implementing OKRs, so objective key results in your team, you should always have the progress on targets. The key success Therefore, it's uh, something great to share with the team, so I love to mark them here. And it's also a great way for people to reflect on the work they've done and highlight the part that they actually enjoy or that were a success. And finally, actions taken to bridge the gap to targets. So for example, let's say that your goal is to reach I don't know, like 20,000 followers on YouTube, but actually you're only at 15. What actions are you taking to close that gap? And then I also add a section about the personal topics. So sometimes you might have like a bad news in your family. Maybe sometimes you are sick. Maybe sometimes like shit happens. So I think it's always great to write it down in the one-on-one. -on -one. Therefore, I am aware of personal events that might affect your work life. And for me, it just helps me overall becoming like a better manager and adapt my management style based on what can be happening in your personal life. And at the end, I'm also adding, where do you need my help from? And this is also a great way with the challenges to kind of like adapt my schedule for the team to help them level up faster and never become a bottleneck. What I really love also personally is the first section about feedback. Each week I'm trying to give both positive and negative feedback to people I manage in order to help them grow as individuals by giving extremely specific and actionable items. Once they have filled in this one-on-one, -on -one, they are basically clicking here on share, copying the link, and then sending it to me on Slack. The instructions are there to be filled 48 hours before a weekly one-on-one -on -one and shared by email or Slack for comment and things. I will add things if needed. So that's very simple. And once people have basically like uh, putting it there, so for example, let's say like we're in July, they're just gonna take it and put it to the appropriate week. That way, whenever we have completed like a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, it's always great to go back at it and check what has been done on the quarter, on the monthly, and it's a great way to keep track of process as your team. The way I usually organize my one-on-one -on -one is in that dedicated section where I have all the people I do one-on-one -on -one with. And here, for example, we can see when each week has been filled in that we have a lot of different documents we can always go back to. I hope this was helpful and let me know in the comments if you want me to share with you these templates on Notion for free. Talk soon, take care.